Hi everyone, welcome to the Winsome Travels channel. If you're new here, this is a channel where I provide travel nuggets and mishaps that I face during my trips so that you can avoid them. In this video, I'll cover my trip to the US Virgin Islands and show you some of the top things to do and see while you're there. The US Virgin Islands are a hidden gem in the Caribbean Sea offering beautiful beaches, crystal clear blue waters, tropical climate, and rich history. As you arrive, you'll first notice the vibrant colors of the buildings and the lush vegetation that surrounds these islands. The islands are a home to a diverse range of plants and animals, including exotic birds, colorful fish, and towering palm trees. The US Virgin Islands are a territory of the United States, they are located east of Puerto Rico and west of the British Virgin Islands. Since the islands are a United States territory, American citizens do not need a passport to visit. Additionally, non-US citizens with US visas are able to visit without additional visa requirements. Visitors to the US Virgin Islands can enjoy activities such as snorkeling, diving, hiking, and exploring the island's rich history and culture. There are three main islands that make up the US Virgin Islands. The first island is St. Thomas, which is known for its picturesque harbor and vibrant shopping scene. The second island is St. John, which is known for its beautiful beaches and national park. The third island is St. Croix, which is known for its history and heritage. St. Thomas is the largest and most developed of the islands, with the bustling capital city of Charlotte Amelie, which is known for its charming Danish architecture and bustling cruise port. St. Thomas is known for its duty-free among cruisers and stunning beaches. This is a great place to shop for souvenirs, try local cuisine, and visit historic sites like Blackbeard's Castle and Fort Christian. You can also visit some of the island's popular beaches, such as Megan's Bay, which has calm waters and white sand, Cokie Beach, which is a popular spot for snorkeling, and Sapphire Beach. If you're looking for a more laid-back experience, head over to St. John, the smallest of the main islands. St. John is known for its stunning beaches and natural beauty, including the famous Trunk Bay, which was named one of the most beautiful beaches in the world by National Geographic. In fact, more than half of the island is protected as part of the Virgin Islands National Park. On this island, you can also explore the vibrant coral reefs and underwater sea life through snorkeling. You can also visit the Annaberg Sugar Plantation, a historic site that offers a glimpse into the island's sugar cane industry. St. Croix is the southernmost and the largest of the three islands. It has a rich history and heritage. I do not have a chance to visit St. Croix, but I would totally recommend it for a day trip from what I've heard about it. Some of the places worth visiting are the Cruise and Rum Factory, where you can learn about the island's rum making history and sample some of their rum. You can also visit other noteworthy places, such as the Christianstad National Historic Site, the 1733 Apothecary, and the St. George Village Botanical Garden. From the U.S. main island, you can fly into Henry E. Rohelson Airport in St. Croix or into Cyril E. King Airport in St. Thomas. However, know that there are more and cheaper flights to St. Thomas than to St. Croix. Additionally, St. Thomas is more popular with travelers who like history, who want a nightlife, or want a variety of dining options. On the other hand, St. Croix is popular among travelers who enjoy the tranquility of secluded beaches and national activities such as hiking. When it comes to accommodations, the U.S. Virgin Islands offer a range of options from luxury resorts to budget-friendly hotels. Do some research to find a place that suits your needs and budget. I would recommend a place that's up by the mountains where you can have a great view of the Charlotte Amelie port. We rented a villa in the estate Elizabeth division and we have the best view of the air of the port. It's amazing to wake up to a beautiful view like this every morning of your vacation. Living out of the city is best when you have a rental car. However, I would recommend staying within the city center if you would like to enjoy the nightlife. Your adventure starts as soon as you arrive at the airport and make your way to the hotel. You can explore the islands on foot by car or even by ferry. However, Public transportation is less reliable and ride shares are pretty expensive. Advise you rent a car for a period, if not for your whole stay. 
In this case, you can explore the islands at your own pace and extensively. It would have been difficult for my family and I to travel from our Airbnb to the ferry and even more expensive to explore St. John without our car rental. I advise you to rent a car and ferry it across the islands for convenient transportation. The rental car agencies such as Herds among others are within the airport so you can easily pick your car as soon as you arrive. Here's a warning though. The US Virgin Islands drivers drive on the left, so I suggest you appoint your most attentive family member or friend as the designated driver. As you explore St. Thomas, you'll notice the laid-back vibe of the island. You'll see locals going about their day, smiling and greeting as you pass by. Once you've settled into your resort, you'll want to explore the island. As mentioned earlier on, one of the must-see destinations is the historic town of Charlotte Amelie. With its cobblestone streets and colorful buildings, Charlotte Amelie is a charming reminder of the island's Danish past. Don't forget to visit the famous 99 Steps, a historic landmark that offers a breathtaking views of the harbor. A walk past the 99 Steps should lead you to the famous Blackbeard's Castle. This is a historic landmark named for the notorious pirate who once called the island home. It offers stunning views of the surrounding area. Of course, no trip to the Virgin Islands would be complete without trying some of the local food and drinks. The islands are known for their seafood such as conch and mahi-mahi and their famous rum-based cocktails like the painkiller and the bushwalker. A walking tour is the best way to learn about the history and explore the local cuisine. Here's a summary of the tour that I did just to, you know, give you a picture of how a walking tour could be. During our tour, we strolled through the city's winding street and discovered an array of shops, restaurants and bars. We went to five food and drink locations. First location was East Garden Tea, tea House. Here they serve all type of teas. Uh, in addition to small bites such as salad, quiche, which is made from local fish and they'll also serve you dessert. Second place was Gladys Cafe, which is like four or five blocks away. Um, this place offers local food that is more soul based. So some of the food included, you know, polenta, plantain, conch fritas, kalaloo soup and fange. The third place uh, that we went to was a pate place. It had like different type of pates. For those of you who don't know, pate is like a beef, uh, spicy beef or chicken wrapped in dough and fried. So these people um, have owned this place for over 40 years. So I can say that they've perfected their pate game. Oh, skill. Um, the fourth place that we went to was an outdoor courtyard bar at the Palm Passage. This was a place, um, this was a great place to end our tour by washing down all the food that we just had with a refreshing tropical cocktail. The, the best part of this walking tour is that, you know, for just 80 bucks, you get a cocktail, food, and, you know, you also get to learn about the history of the, of the city and St. Thomas in general. And, you know, walk away with a full stomach for 80 bucks. I think this is a pretty good deal and I would advise anyone to go for it. No trip to the U.S. Virgin Islands would be complete without some time spent on the beach. You can relax on the sandy shores or try your hand at snorkeling or other water sports. From the sandy shores of Magans Bay to the secluded coves of Water Island, you will find plenty of spots to relax and soak up the sun. The popular beaches include Magans Bay, which has been named one of the world's most beautiful beaches. There's also Trunk Bay, which is... St. John's most visited beach, it's also the most photographed beach and voted one of the top 10 beaches in the world by Condé Nast Traveler magazine. Another uh, beach is the Cinnamon Bay Beach, which is just located less than a mile from the Trunk Bay. So if you're going to Trunk Bay, you could as well spend some time in Cinnamon Bay and like scratch it off, you know, uh, mark it off your list on the same day. There's also Honeymoon Beach. This is located on Water Island. Uh, this is a great place for kayaking, watching the sunset and just spending a whole day there. There's Lindenburg Beach. This is close to the airport in Charlotte Amelie. 
it's best for sunset watching it also had like food and drinks so you can spend your day there and it can be accessed using the dollar taxi buses from charlotte amelie the dollar ride in saint thomas has a set fare it's one dollar for short trips like anywhere within downtown charlotte amelie and two dollars for longer cross island trips overall the u.s virgin islands is a beautiful and diverse destination with something for everyone from beautiful beaches and national parks to rich history and heritage, there's plenty to see on this island. So if you're looking for a tropical paradise with beautiful beaches, interesting history and culture, and delicious food and drinks, the U.S. Virgin Islands is the perfect destination for you. Have you been to the U.S. Virgin Islands? Did you like it? If you're planning a trip there, feel free to post any questions you may have below and I'll try my best to answer them. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more travel videos. Until next time, bye!